بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان کنٹینیویشن ٹو آر کور ایریا وی آر اسٹارٹنگ فائنینشیل رسک مینجمنٹ اینڈ ان دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ انٹروڈکشن ڈیفینیشنز اینڈ ویلیوٹنگ پورٹ فولیوز تو وین وی ہیو پورٹ فولیوز دیر از اے کوشچن کمنگ ان سپوز یو ہیو ٹو آپشنز ٹو سلیکٹ ناؤ وچ پورٹ فولیو ول بی بیٹر اور اف یو ہیو ٹو ایسڈس which asset to invest in so there should be some mechanism to work it out so in this module we'll be specifically looking at how we can select portfolios given the facts so it's like ranking the portfolio it's like evaluating them and selecting the best out of it so ranking portfolios there are multiple ways and one of the most renowned and famous way of ranking a portfolio is through some ratios and one of the common ratio in that is sharp ratio we can also call it sharp e but we'll be calling it sharp so it's both way it's fine so sharp ratio sharp ratio was developed by nobel laureate william sharpy and that's why it's referred to as sharp ratio in that it's used to help investor understand return of investment and compare the returns so main point here is comparison when you have alternates which route this ratio will help you in doing that so we'll be learning its background we'll be learning how to calculate it and we'll be also having practice of this ratio is the average return in excess of the risk free rent because if it's we are earning a risk free return that mean we are not taking any kind of risk so if for taking the risk what excess we going to get out of it that is being gauged by this ratio when we deduct our return portfolio's expected return from risk free retail uh, rate and then we divide it with the portfolio's risks that will give you the sharp ratio i'll just show you the formula as well so it will help investors to gauge how the risk has added to their returns in the portfolio So Sharpe ratio is the measure of excess return over the risk free rate relative to its standard deviation. We have discussed standard deviation previously as well, but a uh, brief recall standard deviation is a measure of risk. So we take care of the total risk applicable to portfolio. So we take so if we discuss it in the mathematical way, it's the return less the uh, risk free rate risk free rate divided by the standard. I will just show you the formula as well it's also having two types of sharp ratio calculation we it's as we have seen uh, we have some historical data and then we have some future data so in finance term we call it ex post ex post is that's the past performance so it's referred to as things which have been already done so we take the data of what has been actual outcome and based on that we calculate but remember it's already passed but it will be an indicator used to gauge it then we have ex ante ex ante as i just initially told it's about future so in this we look at expected portfolio performance that what we are expecting from this and based on those expectation we are going to rank it because mainly when we are deciding for future our main concern is which will be better for the future so formula for sharp ratio as we just discussed it's rp minus rf divided by standard deviation where rp is your return of the portfolio rf is the risk free return and that's the standard deviation of the portfolio that means the risk you are going to take for this particular portfolio let's do a small example suppose that asset has an expected return of 15% in excess of risk free rate we typically don't know if the asset will have the return because if it's future we are not sure but again it's an expected part and the standard deviation is 10% so and risk per risk free rate is same so in this context you have seen we are earning 15% divided by 10% so it give you a sharp ratio of 
Sharp ratio in its absolute term does not tell clearly what it is about, but it makes more sense when we compare two portfolios or when we compare from one period to another. So this we have 1.5. Calculating more commonly used ex post. Ex post as we have just discussed, it's the past data to which it relates. For example, we have asset returns, we have S&P total return, and that's the excess return what we are going to gauge out of it. So this table reflects that any excess return or excess negative return, that could be the case as well. So if we don't need to have always the same benchmark, we can have multiple benchmarks to relate to calculate its impact. Benchmark asset caps means that we have a uh, return over and above the benchmark rate and then we have standard deviation for this particular risk. So the sharp ratio that comes out to be uh, say this uh, point 0.29, this indicates for this particular portfolio we have this given number. This number as I've just told you in isolation they are not the true indicator but for the detailed comparison they'll have a compact when we compare the two suppose currently you have two hundred fifty thousand dollars to invest expected return 12 volatility is 10 percent and tangent portfolio is 17 percent risk-free rate is five percent so we have to see what we are gauging over and above the risk free rate to come out of it. So sharp ratio is 12% that is expected return minus risk free rate of 5% divided by the risk factor that is 10.1. So it is 0.7. So conclusion is, as I've just mentioned, when we are having uh, two sharp ratios, the one which is higher is better than the other. So that means if we have two portfolios and one is having a sharp ratio of 1.2 and other is having a sharp ratio of 1.6. So we based on the expectation will recommend portfolio with a higher sharp ratio that is 1.6. So this is basic about sharp ratio. Thank you.